What's goody fellas and welcome back to the Somo Dynasty. Today we have Clemson. We literally versed 1, 2, and 3 back to back to back. Clemson started off 1-0, and they're casually dropping 58 points a game. Who did they verse? <laughs> we also have a head coach point, and you know I love to get me kitchen sinks, mate. We now can get 200 extra points per week. If you thought our recruiting game was strong prior to this, wait until you unlock the full bloody thing, mate. So now that we got our points back, this is going to be pretty effortless. I do want to go off to Chris Myers. He was part of the original group, and he's a three-star. He's short and all that, but, you know, underdog story and all that. I want Joe Jackson, but it doesn't look like we're going to... Yeah, no, there's no chance we get Joe Jackson. We can get Willie Pennington, which is a good consolation. We can also get Brad Miller, but do we want to put that many points on him? We're barely missing out on Joel Willis. I'm going to cut my losses there because that might be a bit difficult. Same as Darren Mackey. If it's cool with you guys, I'm more than happy going straight O-line this year because that's the one area we seem to really struggle in. We will pick up Brian Scott, 77 overall free safety. And then we have Dwayne Lott as well. So why not? You know, I'm pretty sure this guy is a cornerback. He is. Very well played safety too. Now, fellas, let's aim for about 600 on this one. You guys have been absolutely killing it. And of course, it's been a lot of fun bringing you this entertainment. Smoke Jackson is out. So it is a Vizu's team now, at least for a couple of weeks. Let's see how we do. Yeah, I think they're overrated. <laughs> I think they're very overrated. They might have dropped 58 on FCS, but... Ah, oh, come on, I'm right there, the linebacker! Who is that? I'm on Levi. Oh, also let me know down in the comment section, this is the first video from the new house, and it sounds like the acoustics are kind of weird in here. So let me know if everything sounds good, you know? Be a bro. Oh, kick the block! If we get that block, we probably take that to the crib. Let's block Ryan. Okay, trap. I really wanted to hit square there, but it was just not the right angle. I forgot that both of our quarterbacks are left-handed. They were not going to be hot riding or anything anyway, so... Otherwise, I would have put our... Oh, never mind. Let's go right there, Virouette. Nice! Avizu seems like he can throw the ball. Take that across the middle. Coley, thank you for stepping up. We've got an Aggie here too. Who's on the corner route though? It's Coley! If this is man coverage, we should be able to do something pretty cool with this. Okay, it's not, but we should be able to fit it in the gap regardless. If our quarterback is accurate, we can fit it in there. Our offense seems kind of flat though, you know what I mean? Without, uh, without smoke. Again, those corner routes are absolute. Ooh, Duffy nearly broke that. We do have an out route on the left. If they do call man coverage, this is not the time for it. Take a short, why not? Get some cheeky yards in there. Don't fumble it. Take a short. That's one thing I do love about these sliders, is it kind of forces you to take those routes sometimes. You can't always just take the big 50 yarder, mate. It doesn't work like that. You're gonna throw a pick. Got him. Go off easy. Ooh, he's slow as a bitch. Nice, Scott Ryan in, first touchdown of the day, let's get it. He's always going to be that number one guy. Alright, let's see what they got going on in their second drive. The first one wasn't that great. But with DJ Oogie Boogie back there, a quarterback, I don't know how much damage they can really do, you know? Okay, that is a lot of damage right there. Mavis! I knew it, a ghost tackle. He's literally the worst player on the team. Mavis just can't tackle. I don't really like the look at any of these plays. I swear, if they line up with like three people on the right, which they are, how do they know? How do they know I plan on running it there with Scott? BS. And our team just does not want to block. Got him. Corner out. Sammy Dukes. Avizu is nine from nine. Now that I've said that, watch me just throw a pick or something. Nah. Again, in the little gap. You see that gap? That's one thing that makes the Aggie play specifically so good, because even in zone, you normally get a chance to hit your man. Like right there again, Coley. Ooh! Oh, Galvis is in the slot. Their pass rush is just crazy. And what makes it worse is all of their D linemen are like as fast as us. Let's go! It's got Ryan! My defender got caught up. Ryan on the slant, wide open, great play. 
It's got to be the Jordans, mate. That's why he got that. All right, defense. Come on. If we can get a stop now, we can put momentum in our favor, which is the favor that we want. Just our favor. Oh. Okay, we are ghost tackling a lot of people today. If they leave us with under a minute, I think I'd rather just take it to the second half because uh, even though it looks like we're in control of these games, it's because of smart decision making the whole way down the field, bruh. Even DJ got us on the ground. Nice little gap there. Scott Ryan breaks it out. No pushes in the back. None of that nonsense. We'll start our drive on the 50. We're going to actually flip this up to an option. Oh, stay up. Don't get injured, though. I need you. If Arvizu gets injured, we literally just lose the game. Like, straight up just lose. Okay, Vera Wet's on a slant here. I might just take said slant. Never mind, Galvis. Oh, I was going for a perfect passer rating. Now I don't have it. Vera Wet on the corner. He will be able to fit that in there. I mean, it's just ridiculous how much Arvizu is nailing this opportunity. The starter that is so gassed up and is so hyped goes out with injury. You're like, oh, what are we going to do? The backup comes in and has the game of his freaking life, mate. Doesn't miss a target. Like, look at this. Is that just experience? Start running at the clock here as well. Would rather go into halftime with this lead. If we can, Scott Ryan. Ew. That's all right, we'll call a timeout once we run this out a bit. Oh, Ryan's on a... Okay, 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 okay. This might be Scott Ryan's second tutty. They thought it was going to be a run. And it was not! It was a pass and it was picked off, of course. I got too hyper-focused on hitting Scott Ryan that there was probably somebody else open right there. So that's on me. That is absolutely on me. Read option. Good tackle. All right, we'll take this to half. So at half time, tied ball game. So we're pretty much sitting around the same thing. Our time of possession is way more than Clemson's. That's only because they seem to score so ridiculously fast. If we can stop their pass game, we win. Easy. Oh yes, and we get the ball to start the second half. Smart thinking in advance there. We definitely want the ball here. Let's go, Scotty. Ah, that's a terrible return. Are they pressing us on the first play? I don't know. I might... Oh, crap. I forgot that shoe clock was on. It is main coverage, though. Scott, you got to break that, bro. Come on, you're gone if you get that. Run up, run up, run up. Go, go, go. Woo! On the money. <laughs> I was waiting for Scott to just take off 50 big ones. Ran a 100 meter marathon. Oh, Hancher, broken tackle. Oh my goodness, I love Hancher. This is not the play at all. Like, what is this? Oh, it is man, though. Look at Duffy. Everybody in the crowd is probably thinking, how is Somo doing this? How are they staying in the game? It's because we're just that good, bro. It's because we're just that good. All right, let's just go right through the middle here. We got him in a pretty good defense. Go Ryan, we don't get enough of... I'm going for this, I don't care. Sub Hancher in, I want Hancher to take this. Man, he's good to get in the open space, but that's pretty much where it ends. Like, there we go, he got in for the touchdown, but man, that was close. Go Ryan, keeping us in the game nonetheless, though. That was just a really poor drive. <laughs> that was a really poor drive on their behalf. Is Scott back there? He is, okay, I was going to say. Hopefully he didn't get injured or something. Oh, I need to start playing better. I'm running into the back of my teammates and everything. See, again, look at this. They just know. How do they know? And we get no blocks, man. This is why I don't be running the ball like that. I'm spewing that I threw that pick and missed that pass. Absolutely spewing. Man, I've been, I can't get a step back to save my life right now. Virouette, Henderson. No hot routes allowed. Oh, they got through the gap, all right. Arvizu on the... Wow! Oh my goodness, Scott Ryan. See, that's what I mean. We get a little bit of a gap, we're gone. Duffy might be able to get him here. Duffy got him. 
Wow, he is so good. After the game, I need to go look at Zane Duffy because this guy is actually a beast. It's like he's the one guy on the team that just doesn't get phased by anything. Two defenders on me, not phased. Hitting a trick shot, not phased. Very late, nice. We'll take five. We beat Alabama, but our Vizu came in late in the third. Now the thing is, does our Vizu start the rest of the season or not? They scored on the kickoff. Oh my goodness. All right, bro. I, however, like kind of the journey of the freshman, you know? I know freshmen in real life either want to start or they transfer, but I kind of like seeing somebody's whole career. Come on. There's no way we don't have speed, right? I know the logical choice here is Arvizi, without a doubt, but he's number 28, mate. Like, he's not quarterback material, even though we're beating Clemson right now. That's a freaking missile right there. Again, the pass is just absolutely on target. They only have two first downs in this entire game, by the way. Just want to point out that in the fourth quarter, Clemson has two first downs. That's how quick they score. Okay, I would want a hot route, but I can't. We get him across the middle here. We do. Very well. Beautiful. I'm going to run out a bit of the clock here as well. Well, I mean, even if we take three, it really doesn't matter, does it? No. Nah. Who's our fullback again? I always forget. Is it Bull Schmidt? No, it's not. Nelson. Big Nelson. Boost right in the end zone. That's game, by the way. They seem to be going with the let's score really fast and save our timeout strategy. And it appears to be working. I got that across the middle. Pick it! Oh, come on! And you missed the tackle. No, this is not good. Yates! Yates with the pick! Let's go! We never, ever, ever get interceptions on this team. Yates drops about 50 a game. He finally stepped up, and what a moment to step up. Literally in Death Valley, in front of probably what looks like 60,000 people minimum. I don't know, I could be well off there. And being able to make that play, that is just out of this world, man. Good job. Okay, we're on fire. We are in full stamina. I guess the blocking was a little bit better there, but we still lost the yard, so I guess not. Scott Ryan was your player of the game with those receiving yards. Checking out the stats on the day, Arvizu, he might have to be QB1 going forward. One tutty, one pick, 350 yards, 92% completion percentage. Smoke would have missed a lot of the tackles that Arvizu hit, so there's a lot of thinking to do here. On the rushing end, Ryan, 46 yards, only a 2.8 average, but he did have three tutties. And on the receiving end, Vera Wett barely edged out by, again, Scott Ryan, who also added a receiving touchdown to his stat sheet today. Blocking, we let in a sack, no harm, no foul. Defense was very quiet. Like I said, Clemson would score either one on the kickoff or they would score immediately. So nobody really had a chance to uh, shine today. Big shout out to Steve Yates though, our senior cornerback with that first career interception. But fellas, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I wonder, can I breathe right underwater? Ooh. Sometimes I wonder, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I wonder, can I call upon a thunder? Sometimes I wonder, can I make the earth shake? I'm celestial.